guess pork pound puffer is one of the fish that often attracts the attention of new people to the hobby and in some circumstances they can actually be quite good fish for beginning to keep and they're very easy to keep, they look cool, they're not very expensive, they're very durable so it sounds ideal but people really don't appreciate how big they get, how fast they get that big and how predatory they become as well. A two to three inch juvenile can hit eight, nine inches within a year and they're not going to stop there as well. Most of them will end up the size of a football. Um, some of them can go on to be the size of a beach ball. I've seen specimens 22 inches in diameter while inflated. That's almost a two foot by two foot by two foot cube. And a, a fish that size, when it inflates, could be sucking in as much as 100 litres of water when they inflate. So they can become, exceptional individuals, can become very large. Also, as they become larger, their mouths are very big to start with and on even a six inch specimen they can quite happily munch the way through a three or four inch rat or, or something if they choose to do so. You'll find the majority of the time they're reasonably well behaved but they can go rogue without warning and just munch their way through a lot of your other livestock and we do see that happen quite a lot. It might look as though they're smiling with their cheery little faces but of course that's just putting human emotions onto it and they're actually quite a serious predator and uh, although not the most efficient at finding food, they've got some serious dentition there to be able to bite the way through stuff. Also bear in mind, large specimens are quite capable of doing serious damage to you as well, including taking off a careless finger. So uh, it is something that you do want to handle with a little bit of care, especially larger specimens, and make sure you never hand feed them because you don't want them to associate your hand with food. It's always best to tongue feed them or just pour it in from a jug, so if your hands in the tank, they're not associating it with food and they're less likely to bite at you. It doesn't seem a big problem when they're little, but when they get to a foot or more, they can be a bit of an issue. Also, because they grow so very quick, um, it's very difficult to rehome large specimens. Even public aquariums will often rarely take the pond puffers. So you really do, if you are thinking again, one, you need to pay a lot of attention to what size tank you're going to get. I would say really you want to be looking at least in the 1,000 litre range, uh, preferably up to 2,000 litre range, and you want to be looking at buying that tank and having it up and running within 12 months of buying the puffer. And even a juvenile is going to need 500 to 1,000 litres to grow out in while a new tank is being constructed or whatever. Um, as an alternative, I'd look at the huge variety of dwarf puffers available, like the Campagasta species. There's uh, 20 odd species of Canthogasters that are easily available. Um, three or four of those are very commonly seen, the others a little bit less so. But they're generally less expensive, they mostly only go to two to three inches, they're fairly well behaved in a larger tank, several specimens can be gathered together as well. So consider them instead, and think very carefully if you are thinking about getting a pork plant puffer, or if you have got a pork plant puffer already, make serious attempts early on to either rehome it while it's still small and relatively easy to rehome. We'll start planning that supersized tank right now.